Hey guys, uh, we got a couple little uh, 2D tournaments with like uh, about seven or eight players each. Um, we'll uh, run MK2 first, and then uh, we'll close out with UMK3. Hopefully, we'll done, be done in uh, a couple hours.
fight. Finish him. Johnny Cage wins flawless victory. Round one fight. Let's <laughs> go. 
Hello, hello. This is Claude Von Stroke here. I'm back from watching Injustice Top 8. I am in this MK2 tournament, but I'm pretty free. So, we'll see. It used to be good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nice. Uh, so, yes, um, it used to be pretty good when I was young. But, uh, I mean, that was like... Too long ago, let's just put it that way. So, all right, so we have Raiden, Lord Raiden versus Johnny Cage. Now, don't expect good commentary because I don't know, like I said, it's been so long. I'll try though, <laughs> I don't know the frame data in this game or anything like that. So Well, that was a nice attempt on the Superman, but nice, nice teleport, teleport sweep, MK2 special. I wish someone was here to commentate this with me. How am I gonna know it, man? I don't. <laughs> I have no one to play with. All right, so Raiden doing massive amounts of sweeps. Johnny Cage, oh, nice punish on the on the uh, shadow kick. Yeah, sure. Well, this is intense.
I think I'm going to use Raiden in the tournament. I'm going to try. I don't see a lot of anti airs going on here. Yo, come commentate this with me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I forget everything about this game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, fail on the fatality. Fatality fail. I respect the random select. When I used to play this game back in like 93, 94, I used to always random select. Truly invisible. That's really cool. Oh, Katana. Reptile, low tier, but I, I think he's a lot of fun to play. Wow, just punching him in the face relentlessly. I'm giving the most ridiculously unhyped commentary right now. <laughs> I'm so tired by throat hurts from yelling in the, in the Capcom room. This is on PS3, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh. So, I just got trolled so hard in my mind because I thought this was tournament. And then I realized quickly that it was not. Uh, yeah, this, I'm pretty sure this is still cat. Hey, this is casuals, right? Casuals. Oh yeah. Oh okay. How come they're not in the tournament? They're pretty good. These guys are pretty good. How come they're not in the tournament? I said these guys are pretty good. Why they're not in the tournament? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is casual, so uh, I want to go to bed. I just heard, though, that they're about to call um, brackets, so we'll s we should see something on stream soon. on PS3. I'll show you guys. They're both using sticks. I don't know what this, if it's collection or not. It might be the original MK2 port. I'm not sure. You can't see their hands, oh well. 
Seriously? Really? Yeah. So everyone here is good? God damn it. I thought it was going to be some, like, randoms. <laughs> Let's do that. I mean, me and that's fine. Sure. I don't care, it's fine. I mean, the only person I ever played in MK2 is you, so. I mean, pretty much. Yeah, that's why it's <laughs> And how often is that? <laughs> at, um, at Redbeck, we played a couple times, I think, so. Oh, okay. What's up, man? You want to commentate this game? Round. Yeah. I used to know a lot, but I don't remember anything. So. It's simple enough, right? Yeah, but I don't know any of the frame data. I don't know any of the setups. It got, there's a small community of guys that still play this competitively, and they know like every ins and outs of it, you know? Yeah, well, Jax is godlike. Jax and Molina. Molina's probably the best. Molina or Jax. And Luke Kang is really good, too. Damn, poor Case. Wait, it's not gonna be on stream? What the fuck? Turn on stream. Our match. I'm about to play on stream, and you're probably gonna watch me get my absolute shit pushed in. But you know what? I'm doing it because I love Mortal Kombat, so. That's all that really matters anyway. I doubt it. I haven't. I played this game, and I can't even remember really. Except when I played you, like however long ago. Well then, uh, yeah. So we're, uh, if anyone's just wondering what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna run MK2. Uh, it's it's an eight-man bracket. Um, it's got James MK in it, Shock, uh, myself, my Let's go. Choice. All right, all right. Let's go. Claude and I are gonna fight our match really quick. So we'll be right back.
Yo, this is shock. I got like a couple minutes to actually do something here. Alright, so we got some MK2 action here with uh, it's actually Claude Von Stroke. By the time I change this, the match is going to be over. All right. So, Claude Monstro and Mike Matroid going at it here right now. Ooh, this is the fan. Oh, man. Don't jump away from Johnny Cage. He's going to throw fireballs at you. Fortunately, Johnny Cage doesn't have the nasty chip down, uh, chip lockdown. Apparently, in this game, he just he just sits on the other side of the screen. Uh-oh. Troy's having some, some button malfunctions. What is going on? Is this tournament? That's right, I'll be done in three seconds. This is a little bit of collusion. Classic collusion with a K. Johnny Cage trying to punish with a kick. Got to walk in, jab that fan lift, and get the free block and punish. Beat. <laughs> Oh, Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. All right. Metroid moves on. Who do we got next? Bam. Bam. Write the uh, names of the game. Write the name of the game real big on the top. Troy wants it first to three. He wants to run it back. <laughs> he needed a whole round to learn how to do his specials. All right, I'm up. Ready for some Molina? Yeah, that was the uh, match of the lifetime. I practiced hard for that. Good, good old run back. I was, uh, I was player two. Hello, hello, hello. It's Claude back. I just lost. I just figured out how to do Katana Square Wave. That's what we were trying to do. I, I thought it was just like MK9 where it's like quarter circle back, but it's half circle back. Half circle back, back yeah. Whoops. Yeah. 
All but right. Nice. I'm salty that this isn't first of three. <laughs> Mainly because I, I would just like to play more, basically. Uh huh. Well, Chalk's been playing this game longer, as long as shit. This one? Yeah. All right. Looks like Kakarot as Reptile. Shot going in with that Molina action. Is he? Is this matchup seriously happening right now? Yep. 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 Reptile, worst character in the game. This match is gonna be like nine one. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Shock is just rocking that high punch side. Goes over the sweep. How could you, Shock? Rept Rept <laughs> Reptile is just like, I wonder what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> oh, almost got a force ball. Slide. Misses the roll. Misses the neutral jump kick. Shock's kind of toying with him. Going in. Misses the roll. Good uppercut punish. He could have done a high punch uh, combo almost, but it's a little difficult in this game. Ooh, skydive, slide, ooh, fatality, no jump fatality. kick. No fatality, Yeah, yeah. Where's right. the, uh... Surprisingly, stream shock one. Where's the stream chat? Oh, uh, yeah, let me get it, let me get it. Hey, you can do it. Yeah. Fucking people using the stream chat as just like a, a chat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey dude, what are you doing today? <laughs> okay, so this looks matchup looks slightly better. A little bit better, but not too much better. There you go. Nice, do something. Freeze. Oh, oh not, a, not a not a round He didn't do it. He oh, didn't. Wow. He yeah. didn't do any sort of clone setup there. Yeah. I mean, a uh, puddle setup. Yeah, just missing it. He's he's waking up with slide too much. His shock is just blowing him up for it. Don't worry, Kakarot. There's losers. Hey, uh, you you face Simon after this, okay? He's playing at, he's playing UMK. There you go. Testing it, testing it, getting the jumps, missing his punishes. Wow. Ooh, ah. Almost. He dropped the combo. He he did the jump kick side way too early. I mean, too late. Stab that bitch. Fantastic. Yo, that was a body. That was that was worse than my body. That was really bad. Simon.
switching to arcade collection so they can uh, map buttons since uh, <sighs> it's not a very good port. Anyway, just so you guys know, Combat Network is run by Shock uh, Summoning Phil, 995 Phil, and uh, Shock and Summoning, that they both work at Ultraspec Cables. And if you guys ever had uh, any sort of need to get cables of any sort, Ethernet, audio, power, whatever, uh, Ultraspec Cables can provide that. And if you type in in the comments and sent a uh, comment section, Combat Network, all proceeds will go to Combat Network support for tournaments and the like. All right, the switching to arcade collection, which I don't really like too much. I, I think I think arcade collections emulation is a lot worse. See, what you do is you come to Yesterkades in Red Bank, New Jersey, <laughs> and you play the actual the arcade, arcade game. But guess what we have on our arcade game? The the PS the gun the Super Gun PS Super two Gun PS Two controllers. Yep, you can play a PS Two pad on there, or if you have one of those uh, special Xbox controllers. That is uh, modded to the PS2 style, which I've actually seen. I've seen a person play UMK3 using an they Xbox controller. <laughs> what did they do? What did you guys do? <laughs> Reass reassign your controller. Re uh, controllers. Reassign oh, the controllers. Oh, oh, the guide button. And uh, I'm sorry. Yes, playing on... Uh, an arcade cabinet with the original arcade hardware mm. using the Xbox style controller with a PS2 interface. That's fucked up. Amazing. Let oh, me get let input me bug. Input bug. No, oh, player bug. Player bug. Thanks, Mike. Oh, God. <laughs> That was good, Mike. That was, that was fun. I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> Player bug. <laughs> All right. Let's All right. Some oh, uh -oh, this is, this Melina, is much, a Melina this is much lower than the other one. Oh us. yes, <laughs> a lot more quiet. Okay, it's normalized or regulated, as we I like to say. Yeah, but the the overall feel of this version, you feel you can feel the emulation. Like I like to yeah. say. <laughs> we got all day size spam here. I can't. I can't wait to size spam Simon later. Basically, what what they should be doing right now is just spam spamming size, spamming size and, and then full get the screen. life lead and then spam just jump, low jump. What's up? He's playing tournament. <laughs> anyway, no. yes. Um, and uh, looking to uh, looking to beat out a side shot and then capitalizing with a roll. Is, 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 is MK2 top three all? Is, is it going to be all Melina? I, I think Melina is the best character in the game, but that's been, that's been disputed over the last few years. Uh, and I always attribute that to net play coming into effect. Yeah, people, people forget. Bullshit. People, people don't play this game in person. They forget just how deadly this character is. Okay, Simon. Simon, did you win the first one? But uh, you definitely don't want to spam the teleport kick, especially if you're not playing summoning. Uh, if you're, oh, sorry, if you're playing summoning because he will anti-air roundhouse or high kick you every time you do that teleport kick. Even if you're on danger, he doesn't care. He will anti-air you, and you will be sorry you ever did that. I saw him I saw him on danger playing against, I think it was Kazi about a year and a half ago, and um, Kazi went for two drop kicks in a row, and he anti-aired him on both on danger and won the match. That's crazy. I think I like all that about this game. It's yeah. like, oh, you're on danger. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can chip. Oh, 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 you have forty. Oh, <laughs> oh, you have thirty percent life left. Oh, two kicks, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> what is what? 
Yeah. Outstanding. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not seeing enough size spam. Oh man, uh, I, I need more size spam. Make it, make you realize why you stopped playing this game. Finish her. There you go. Ooh, Kazi. Ooh, Kazi busts out the fatalities. All right, it's it's all tied up. What? In it? MK2? Round one fight. It's you and I. <laughs> nice. Uh, who's uh, Jimmy gonna play? Uh, he gotta buy the first round. Oh, yeah, we gotta see. We gotta give the old man the buy. James, James. The old man needs the buy. Because he's. <laughs> He's holding his back. We gotta give him a handicap, a little freebie. Throw the old man a bone. Got the godfather of MK and the grandfather of MK in the uh, same room. What is it, 1 1 right now? Yeah, you and I are on, so you wanna just go do that? It's 1 1 right now? Yeah, it's 1 1. Here we go. I'll change the score for five seconds for you guys. <laughs> and done. That's it. Reset. Reset. Ooh. Was that five seconds? Did I beat yeah. five seconds? Yeah, Simon won. Okay. All right, now uh, next up is uh, some guy named Mike Metroid versus Shock. Never mind. Change of plans. James MK versus. AC 1984. You want to play in the back, Mike? Play in the back? Yeah. Oh, wow. Round one fight. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Oh! <laughs> 
Where is it? It's right there. Don't worry, man. Losers will be free. I'm in losers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Round one fight. Outstanding. I, I won my match. I don't think they marked it down, did they? To fight. Oh, okay.
fight. Okay, so it looks like shock. Wins fatality. I wasn't watching this. Guys, what's the score here in the chat if you if you guys know? <laughs> what's the score? We're trying to figure out what the score is. They, there's an argument. There's people watching, but no one's telling me what the score is. Oh, he says not sure. No one knows. <laughs> not sure. And then someone says... There is a score. <laughs> Someone does. They don't know. <laughs> okay, so. They, they they said that shock won two, is that what happened? Round yes. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, that's the same shock. Yes. His main game though is MK UMK3, as you, you'll see it on stream soon. So it's two one. Show you guys. I had to play James MK, that wasn't fun. I mean, it was fun, though. All right, so we have um, blocked uppercuts. Anybody in the chat know what this matchup is like? What's it, anybody uh, MK2 aficionados? Okay, so that's 3-1. Okay, 3-1. is playing itself. So what's the next match? Is just MK have a match? What else, what, what else besides that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see. Sean. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, Nit isn't here. He's a big MK2 player, top player, fan. Okay, Shock says he'll play Kung Lao. Woob, Woober, is that it? Woober? Yeah, this is Shock that made all those combo videos. But I got a question for you, man. What year is it? 
<laughs> Actually, in uh, in like a week, it's going to be the 10 year anniversary of my uh, first official combo video. Okay. From um, what was called DarkTemplars.com, which was like sort of uh, the name was taken from StarCraft. Okay. Um, and uh, it was just like me and two other people. One of them was uh, Dreamer NJ, who uh, pivotal role in, in developing the MK fighting game community in uh, the early 2000s. Right. Uh, we, we decided to start a little fighting game site with like art and like videos and you know just uh, you know something pretty cool with uh, one other person um, Batusai who's an amazing Children of the Atom and Darkstalkers player um, we just decided to start making combo videos that was like that was kind of what really got people interested in the 2D games again because people just thought like there was nothing to these games so right right then uh, you know then some other players got involved and started helping us out making some better videos nice. and now here we are 10 13 years later now. Fantastic. This is my... So who do we got? Kazi and who? Um, Kazi and Mike Metroid. Mr. Chris G is in the house. Chris G, Chris G. Christopher Jesus. This is by far my favorite uh, 
video game, but music, musically. Oh yeah, this 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 game is crazy. It's best music, man. You know, it's interesting because every single 2D MK, or particularly every arcade one, has amazing music. Yeah. And I don't know if you've ever heard the MK4 soundtrack. No. Oh man, listen to that. It's okay. it is wicked. Like. You'd be really surprised if you think like by then it would just be like, eh, you know, whatever. Right. But like that and like Killer Instinct just have this like, I mean, they're very different music. Right. But awesome, awesome music. Round two. Fight. All right. So, basically, uh, there's quite a few people there right now. Um, I, he just retweeted me. I, I don't see him posting though. Um, yeah, like right now. Molina just wants to be doing them air size real, real low and hoping hoping to avoid the Liu Kang fireballs. But Liu Kang is, uh, you know, he has a little bit of... Uh, there we go. I was going to say, he's a little bit of ground to cover here. But Finish her. All right. Hello, hello. Are we good? Oh, he's... <laughs> oh, no, it's because nobody's chatting because uh, apparently... Let's see. Uh, 100, 146. That's that's fine. Take that. Some pretty uh, unorthodox playing here. Uh, there's not exactly any MK2 professionals, which is why I'm in winners finals. Nice punish. I don't remember if there's first place medals for that. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, keeping it simple. Nice, stylish. Yes, cage, cage, nut punch. Cage! But you can't nut punch. No nut punch. Oh, God. That's BS, man. What happened? Do it anyway. What, nut punches? <laughs> well, you can use them to, like, avoid uh, fans and stuff, right? I think it still goes over them, doesn't it? Can't no. now punch, man. He can just he can just split. So it's an avoidance move. Then he should have a buff against girl a characters. Buff. Then. If he can't use his, his main tool. <laughs> his main tool. <laughs> oh no! You know if this. Game oh, there we go. There oh, we go. Oh, Stylings. Nice. Cage. Oh, I nice. love the anti-air high punches. Man, you should have just went with Cage the whole time. Yeah, I know. Go with your main. Oh, he eats the fan. Yeah. Knew that one was coming. Round two, fight. Nice. nice. <laughs> Naked launcher. The first launcher in Mortal Kombat. You just saw it right there. The first combo in Mortal Kombat yep. in this game, too. Baraka. No toasty boost. <laughs> no toasty boost. Ooh, cross under uppercut attempt. Nice. Kazi well, says Kazi. good night. Kazi. All right. Bodies, Mike. Simon and uh, Kazi next. Kazi, we got to play Third Strike after them. Play no. Simon right now. No, I think. Oh, James is still in? James is still in, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm jumping ahead. That's right. Where's Jimmy? He's buying into <laughs> to lose his bracket. We got Kyle coming in. Jax. Damn. 
to fight. This is high kick with Jax. That's all you do is high kick. <laughs> so if, there this, you go. if this game was released today, like as a brand new game, right? Yeah. People would be crying for buffs against girl characters with Cage. You know that <laughs> immediately. We fucking can't use this uh, yeah. can't use this main tool. <laughs> immediately. As soon as they see that gay one, it would be like it would be it would be insane. <laughs> The thing about the nut punch in this game is it's just a jail move. Right. You can't do anything after it. Um, you keep uh, you get just more locks pressure. Down. Right? You get more pressure, but yeah. in this game, like pressure is very strange. You can pressure close up, but it's very tricky. Johnny Cage wins round two fight. Raiden hat. Jacks wins round Jacks. Uh, Jax just wants to stand back and throw Sonic waves. And if Cage ever decides to come in close, standing high kick him. Nice. Oh, they both have the same idea. Now with Jax, Jax's, Jax's overhead is a containment. It's not a jail, like a not like a pressure thing. So he can do overhead and get a free hit. Wow, which is which is sick because he can do overhead smash, which is already like ten percent, and then he can do cross up jump kick, which is another fifteen percent, to backbreaker, which is another fifteen percent. Wow. So you're talking forty percent off a close punch. Wow. In this kind of game, is nuts. Nice round him. Well, is he the best or is Melina the best? Um, it depends on who you ask. Uh, I go with Melina. Some people go with Jax. But then you got the the new crew who's saying that like uh, Luke Kang is the best, I believe. I think. I don't know. I know like Katana, Kung Lao. There's like a, a rotating five now. Right. Ooh, hello. That was, a, that was the wrong sound effect, too. Whoa, nice. Wake up. Oh, get caged. Now, is Cage's sweep uh, plus on block in this game, too? Uh, probably is. He has a fast sweep. So a lot of the, a lot of these moves are very similar to MK9, actually. Sure they are. Yeah. I always said that MK9 is is very MK2. Yeah. That's why even, I hate, that's that's why I hate MK2. Sweep. <laughs> I mean, because in this MK9, his sweep is plus on block, too. Yeah. And he's one of the few characters that has that. Mm. The thing about sweeps in this game, though, is yeah. it really... Every sweep is probably, like, plus on block. Whereas, like, you have to respect the second sweep. Right, right. If you don't d block low after a sweep, you will get swept again. Yeah. Makes sense. No, it doesn't, but... Well, I mean, in this game, it makes sense. <laughs> Not happening. So, uh, what do you think overall, as far as in the arcade, was the most popular MK game? MK2 or MK3? Okay. This is how it goes. Okay. Um, MK2 uh, apparently has the most nostalgic value of any MK game. Okay. Most people you talk to will say that like they remember MK2 the most. Right. Uh, but apparently, MK3 sold more units mm. than MK2. Um, but MK1, I think, might have even sold more units than... No, I don't remember exactly which one sold the most, but I do know that MK3 sold more. But the biggest tournament scene, even though it was short, was MK4, supposedly. Okay. <laughs> supposedly, MK4 had the hypest tournament scene. Wow, so I didn't even know anybody even played MK4. Oh, yeah, okay. big time. When it, when it came out, it was huge. They had a whole road tour and everything. They traveled around the country, promoted the game. Huge tournament scene. I, I heard about tournaments in the late 90s for MK4. 
and I was just like, like what? Like right. <laughs> that's like pretty awesome. But I, I, you know, I still wasn't really. Uh, I was only like sixteen. You know, right. When the game came out, so I still wasn't able to like just go out and go to a tournament. It's funny because I, I don't know anybody who plays MK4. Like personally. no, you don't because yeah. it's it had such a short lifespan. Yeah. That it didn't really it didn't really like grasp a whole like. Like a I big know a lot of people who actually play uh, you, uh, the two thousands three D MK games. Like, yeah, like I MKDA, mean, MK Deception, well, MK Armageddon. I can see, I can see Deception Armageddon because yeah. they had net play. Yeah, so it gives you you know a nice base of people play against. And MK versus DC people played that too. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Round two fight. You know the guy Emperor Outworld? Yeah. You know where his that clan tag came from? There was a room in MK D versus DC Online called the Emperor's Room. Oh, okay. And they and those guys were like they formed an MK vs DC. So the whole Emperor's <laughs> clan, the beginnings come from MK vs DC. That's actually. funny. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, now MK4 interactables were. Uh, it was just a weird concept to like throw that in a game like that because it really isn't 3D. Fatality. Right. It's a 2D game with sidestepping. Is sidestepping in that is no different than like dodge in King of Fighters. Right, right. It's the same thing. It's just that it looks like you're moving in a 3D way. I kind of like that. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. I, I remember playing it when it first came out, and I was like, "This is kind of cool. You could dodge shit, you know." Whatever. Well, supposedly <laughs> it's it's like worthless. Oh really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Supposedly it's not good at all. I didn't play it very much. Yeah, I, I I didn't e either to be honest. I I only played. MK4 in the arcade, maybe I think a handful of times. It was just, it was there and it was gone. Right. You didn't like MK2. MK2 was like around forever. It just never went away because it was, it was popular. Yeah. And it was just like cool to have as like an attraction piece in an arcade. It's very strange, very strange concept. Well, I remember when I was 11 years old, MK1 first came out, and I remember when my, my local arcade got it. And I was like, I have to play this game. All the kids are talking about it. I was like in sixth grade. I That's think. exactly how what it was for me. Yeah. Yep. And then um, I used to go to the arcade a lot. And then I spent every summer down in Virginia <laughs> at like a campground with my grandparents. So yeah, I was like log cabin arcade there. Till I was like fourteen, and they had an arcade there, and they had MK1. So I literally every day all I did was play MK1. <laughs> and then, um, and I was well, when I was young, I was good at it. And then you know back. Compa relatively, relatively compared to everyone else in that campground. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and my local well, town. Well, you, you can develop a nice scene in a campground, yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah, 30 kids I playing would body most of the people there. Yeah. And then... Um, and then UMK... I'm sorry, UMK. MK2 came out, and then, then I was, like, obsessed. Like, yeah, yeah, I played yeah. that game every day, pretty much. That's very much what happened to me with... Um, MK1 came out, and I heard about it. Uh, I saw commercials for it, but I didn't really think anything of it. Yeah. And then when it came out on the consoles, uh, a couple friends came over one day and they were just like talking about this game. They're like, "Oh, it's like Street Fighter, but it's like real people." And like, right. yeah, and they were like, was, they talk about like Goro, and like, it was just like all this like lore around the game, and it yeah, did yeah. just come out, you know. And like this guy with electricity, you know, they, they were really, you know, really into it. Just had a lot of charisma. Um, and uh, I uh, went over to their house. I played it on Genesis, and I was like, "Wow, this game is ass." <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Like, I was a Street Fighter player, and I played right. MK1 on Genesis, and I wanted to throw up. Right. But um, so then I was talking with somebody in uh, I don't know. I guess where, what was it? 92. It came out. So I was in sixth grade. Right. So I'm talking. I'm talking to a kid at like lunch, and he tells me like how good the game is, and I was like, "Really? I mean, I played it on Genesis, and it's you know, it stunk." Stunk on ice. And uh, he says, well, he's like, do you have a Super Nintendo? I was like, yeah. And he's just like, rent it for Super Nintendo and see if you like it. So I rented it for Super Nintendo. And I just, I don't know, it looked a lot better. Yeah. And it sounded a lot better. So it was way more appealing. So then I started trying to play in the arcade. And the arcade, it was just blew me away. Right. Because I'd never seen it. I, like, or at least I hadn't, hadn't like, really studied it. Because I saw it, but I was still playing other games. It just yeah. it hadn't interested me yet. So, um... So I played like a little bit of MK1, but not like, not enough to get good at it. Yeah. Then MK2, I played a lot. I'm probably as competent in MK2 now as I was then. I would say. Right. Um. But uh, yeah, but playing MK2, MK2, I was actually at a local video store renting. I guess it was Super Street Fighter 2 on uh, Super Nintendo. Uh huh. And all of a sudden, I just hear the pit. 
two fatality in the background. Like, I, what, what, what was, what I found out was, so this dude gets uppercut off the bridge, right. off the pit, uh, as Jax, and I just hear, like, the sound effect of the scream as he went off, and I yeah. turned around and saw him, like, hit the ground. I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so I started playing as much as I could. Right. MK2, as far as the game design, the sound design, the way it looks, yep, the way the, the lore of oh, the it's characters, a flawless, flawless production. Yeah, it's presentation amazing. of the game. Like that's why, like mm -hmm. that's why so many people, in my opinion, are diehard like Mortal Kombat fans because you know like, the game is so cool. Like this, like the mythology behind it, the story behind it. Mm -hmm. Other games, like other fighting games, don't really have this kind of story and like, kind of like stock storylines. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, this they, this has like a lot of depth to it. Yeah, so much that they have to like change stuff every now and then. Right. Like it's like oh my god, like this this character is here because of this character. But wait, he's not really that character. Just <laughs> like you know, when you get to that point with a game, you know you've really got. And what other fighting so games have like good story modes? None. I don't know. I can't really think of any. <laughs> I mean, you know, MK9 had a really good story mode. Mm -hmm. Uh. MK vs DC, I think, had a pretty good story mode, right? I never played it. Yeah, it was pretty good. I love the one with Shujinko. Le leveling up that character. Yeah. Like, I just thought that was such a robust game, like, built into, what was that, Deadly Alliance? Or no, Deception. Deception, yeah. Deception. That was very fun. That yeah. was, you. Could, they could have sold that as its own game. I love that. I used to play that game more than the actual fighting part, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. me too. Absolutely. Yeah. They should have did that. That would have been smart. They should have <laughs> made, they should have released Deception with Shijinko and marketed that game around Shijinko and then released his conquest mode. Right. And just just call it Mortal Kombat Conquest. And I bet you they could have made like <laughs> they could have sold that game for fifty bucks. Yeah, probably. Oh, you know what game was awesome was um the tag no the what was that game? Oh Shaolin, uh, Shaolin Monks. Monks. That was a really fun game. Yeah. You know what? I would love. Oh, you calling him? Okay. Is there any zoning in this game or no? Is there zoning? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, it always you, looks like people just rush each other down. Oh, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you, you know, a lot of people do play like that, yeah. but you can zone in this game. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of people will, like, will, will tell you otherwise because they right. have a certain mentality about the game. Right. But you can, like... You can take Cabal, and you can zone with Cabal, even though he's a massive rushdown character. Okay. He's just as dangerous on zoning. Uh, Reptile, insane zoning. Striker has some zoning, but he's the tools that he has for zoning would be better if they weren't as um, as like rigid. Okay. Um, like his bombs have too much recovery. If his bombs like, if his bombs recovered, maybe like, like the instant they hit, rather than like him like sitting there. Like that's like one big example of like way too much recovery right, like in this right. game so much stuff is punishable it's like you, you have to be so careful with everything you do yeah um but um his uh his like baton trip is like one of like few low hitting moves in the game other than sweeps right like, there's only like maybe two moves that hit low and that's it wow. but um but the baton trip is low and would be very useful but it's punishable on hit i see um, if you get it like uh, you, you have to hit it at almost max distance in order to not be punished by by uppercut. Okay. And an uppercut is you know is twenty one percent in this game. So wow, twenty one percent. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, the uppercut is one of the things that makes MK like you know it's one of the staples. Sure. Yeah. 
Uh, buff, buff uppercuts for MK10. Yeah. <laughs> 15% uppercuts for, yeah. for MK10. I think they're like 11 and 9. Well, the reason is that, like, you know, an MK9, off an anti air you could get a lot of damage into resets. Sure. So you don't, you don't hardly ever see uppercuts. Yeah. But well, it's, uh, the same yeah. thing in this, though. Yeah. Like, if you're cooling Lao and, and, and Sub Zero jumps at you right now, you don't want to uppercut him. Right. You want to do anti air high punch and, and kill him. Right, He's okay, dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. High punch, high punch, jump kick with the dive kick into right. your infinator or just a cross screen combo. It's over. But like certain characters, like an MK9, like Quan Chi, yeah, it's pretty much his only way out of pressure is the uppercut because his down one is like 11 frames. Mm. When everyone else has six frame down ones, gotcha. And he has a six frame uppercut, but six frame uppercut. Yeah, and it has six a really frames. big hitbox. Okay, that's his only way out of pressure. But the thing is, if you block it, pff, you can body <laughs> him. So it's really like he he has to take a lot of risk to get out of pressure. Mm. I think the fastest the fastest moves. In this game, are six frames, uh, but that's for um, Cabal spin, and I want to say Molina's roll. Yeah, is uh, six frames in this? It, I don't. I don't think it could be any less than that. It's the same in MK9. Fast move is six frames. But like an uppercut in this game is not six yeah. frames. A jab is like I think like twelve frames or something yeah. like that. Does everyone have different frame data or no? As far as their normals? Um, mm, there's a handful of differences here and there, but okay. for the most part, the the frame counts are the same. Okay. Collision boxes are different. Um, obviously, the male ninjas' frame data is all exactly the same, except for their um, except for their specials, uh, and a few, a couple of them have different walking speeds. Okay. Um. What is this? What do you mean, what is this? This is a game you should be playing. <laughs> what is this? UMK3. UMK3. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to hate on it, because if it wasn't for this, they would have never made um, Injustice, right? Oh, oh uh, you're kind of right. I mean, there definitely would have been Injustice tournaments, because it's got such a, a hu like a broad player base. But the fact that like the MK9 community comprised at least, what, half to start? That's a big boost, you know. It's a big jump. So MK9 probably wouldn't have lasted without the, without the re, you know. Oh, Cabal is ridiculous. He's the best way. Oh my God, he's unbelievable. You want to pick up Cabal in this? Yeah, absolutely. They purposely make Cabal top. So wait, you motherfuckers. What's up? Hey, you know what? Cabal's Ten never, years. Cabal's never <laughs> won Evo, man. Fifteen years. <laughs> he's the best, but he's never won Evo. So I don't, I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember him being super god tier in uh, in the 3D games. I, th I think he was okay. Uh, if anybody knows, yeah, he was not god tier. In the he 3D was games. not god tier. 2D there. games, he runs shit. Though. Yeah, he's <laughs> he is so good in this game. Yeah. You. No, no, but de de Injustice definitely has its own power. Um, well, I'm going I'm to challenge Rico to MK9. Let's see what he says. Nice. <laughs> He's going to tell me now. He's going to laugh, I bet. Let's <laughs> see. Or he's going to talk shit one of the two. Let's see. Fight. What is that? A plaque? Five singles? I might. <laughs> Yo, Rico, what is that, a plaque? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, nice. Very nice. So, I challenge you. Let's play MK9. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Dude, man. You're going to eat I'm those words. I'm good at that game. I'm good. I'm being that serious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not the best, but I'm good. Who would you play in that? I don't know. I don't know who. Probably Smoke. Smoke? Yeah. Okay. Smoke is good. Maybe even Rain. Rain's free. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not in your hands, but 
I played it. I played a rain main in a tournament. He's good. I beat him 3-0, free. -0, free. <laughs> I mean, if you know how to play against him, you can lame him out pretty easy. That's the thing. Like he he has his uh, projectiles have like super slow recovery. So the only thing that's good about him is he has good. He actually has good footsies, and he has armor roundhouse that leads to like forty some percent damage. Just yeah. Yeah, you probably be good with them. If you, but if you like footsies, you should. If you played Sonya, you might be able to be the best MK player. No, and play Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage is. <laughs> it's not grabbing. It's punching, man. <laughs> you probably like Johnny Cage. <laughs> grabbing. No, Smoke is a very good footsies character too. Sure he is. The only thing about Smoke is like. He has a high hitbox. Like in MK9, the hitboxes are matter in matchups. So, uh, not so much in Injustice, but in MK9, it's like it changes matchup numbers basically. And uh, he has a high hitbox. So if he didn't have a high hitbox, he might be like top three, if definitely. But that high hitbox, man. Like Johnny Cage, I can abuse that shit. So. Or Mac is like high mid tier. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you should play Johnny Cage. If you like footsies, he's a, one of the best footsie characters. All right, we're going to go back to MK2. Uh, I got some Losers Man's Finals run. going on with... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think if there is one in MK9. With uh, AC 1984 and James MK. What do you think? Nah, he just has that throw where he can do multiple throws. Nah, there really isn't. I mean, MK9 is basically rushdown characters, zoning characters, and then characters have both. But usually, like... Like a character that has both is Cabal, for instance. But uh, usually, if someone has Godlike Rushdown, they won't have good zoning or vice versa. Reptile's good. Reptile's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Reptile's a good character. Reptile has awesome, it's a very like spacing character. That's all about spacing, pretty much. Yeah, definitely. You can do all kinds of gimmicks and shit with him, too. Yo, bring MK9 back, man. You could be the leader. <laughs> no, I'm saying if you play it, maybe other people play it too, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I know a lot of people want to play it, but. This is salty runback. All right, salty runbacks. <laughs> oh, he's got doing a button check here. I don't think I've ever I seen him that salty. Personally, I, mean, I haven't <laughs> seen him play a lot. In MK9, he doesn't care, so he doesn't get salty. But in this one, I think he cares. So <laughs> does he care? Oh wow, look at that! The enter the darkness. What is he doing? You alright? Your button's good? We're trying to convince Rico to play MK9 so he'll keep the game alive. <laughs> we'll see if he does. Nice. Alright, here we go. You don't you don't hit the start button anymore, man. Start button's meaningless. Alright, here we go. Ready? Fight! James Salty Runback right here. Bloody Runbacks. What's this matchup like, do you know? Um, Scorpion gives Melina a hard time because of the teleport punch. Okay. Um, in my opinion... <laughs> the Scorpion stance. Yeah, uh, in, my, in my opinion, Scorpion just has to stay back the all day and he uh -huh. makes this like a 7-3. Like a in his favor? I, I, I would say if he just stays back and waits, because she can't do anything. Oh. She can't throw a projectile. I mean, unless he's in the corner. If he's in the corner, then the teleport punch doesn't go through the doesn't go through the wall. Right, right. Which is very strange. Um, 
But yeah, Melina just all she can do is jump back inside and he can teleport punch every time on reaction. Excellent. But he's going rush down Scorpion. Oh, that's a little trick that I used to do. Should have blocked that. Blocked that for 40% punish into a into a throw mix up attempt. <laughs> okay. You do um punch, spear, uppercut or or, or roundhouse because right. it sets up two different two different scenarios and you do a teleport punch and you land on the, you land semi cross up yeah and it depends like if you step back a little bit you might land on the other side you know Finish sounds mm. good man sounds gimmicky I can I don't know fight by the way, uh, I'm going to make a formal announcement. Um, I'm going to make a formal announcement on um, TYM. Uh, the uh, official end of the loaning of the Cronus Adapters. Yes. Because uh, uh, I had four when I came here, and I only have two. And I know everybody who used them. You know, I mean, every right. player, like, if I see the players, you know, I'll be like, where are my Cronus adapters? Um, so what I will do is I'm going to keep the two that I have. Yeah. And I'm only going to use them for the stream if the stream players absolutely need them. Okay. Okay, but now it's it's been four months now that we've been playing this on uh, 360. It's going to have to start coming down to players uh, getting their own adapters. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, at, at the most I needed out at any one time this weekend was four. Um... You know, and uh, I would say about maybe 12 people over the course of the day needed them. Wow, okay. So, so that's 10% still. So it's one to one. Battle three. Let's, uh, let's update the scores here. All right, this is a little better. I'll just mirror you and I'll see if I can outplay you. the size. Oh, there we go. That's how you use that drop kick. There we go. Jump, jump, kick, or jump punch side there is a good punish. You got to think really basic for punishes in this game. Okay. Like a standing high kick, you got to remember, does like 15% in this game. Okay. So you might as well just use it. 15%, I'll take it. Fight. Uppercut, 24%. Wow. Even a jab is like, I think like 7 or 8%. It's crazy. Look at the sweep. The sweep just did about 4% on, on chip. Oh. It's all right. Keep the lock down there. See, that's why I went with Scorpion against her before with Simon. Ooh, hello. Oh, nice. Wow, nice. This is a very competitive match. Fight. Who's uh, you two? It's not, it's not us playing. We're not playing. You got <laughs> James MK and AC 1984 playing. Spam those sides, Jimmy. Is that Jimmy spamming those? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's Jimmy. Yeah. Simon, I noticed, was having a hard time spamming them before. Whoa. Is that, th that, is that three? That's, that's First of three. Is that three? Three. It's, it's Loser's Finals. Loser's Finals. So, he was just going to give it up there. He was just gonna <laughs> <laughs> All right. Character lock enforced. <laughs> Round one fight. So James MK is up 2 1. It's first of three. Losers finals. The winner goes on to play Mr. Shock here. I wish Nit was in this. Jimmy is hungry for his tournament win. He has wanted an MK2 tournament win since he's come back to the scene two years ago. Yeah. And it looks like he's on his way. Wow, look at that drop kick. Did like 12%. It's so funny to see the huge damage in this game compared to like MK9. Right. Like MK9, everything in that game does about half the damage it did in these games. Yeah, for roughly. sure. Roughly. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is intense. This is intense. Everybody's just going for chip. Nice, nice roll punish. Doesn't follow up. Oh man, sweep, sweep. You no gotta throw? respect I that. I thought it was gonna be a throw right there. Uh, you can block throws. Okay. And that's it. Wow. 
James MK. James man. MK. He wanted a fatality, but he couldn't do it. His fingers are too too slow. Yeah, grand finals. Well, in this one he does at least. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna have grand finals. James MK is going to the bathroom first. Oh boy. Finisher. Sub-Zero wins. <laughs> 